thank you so much for joining me. Why has my voice just gone so high? Thank you so much for joining me for today's vlog. I'm actually sat in my kitchen. It's actually quite early because this morning, um, I'm gonna do my makeup while I'm chatting to you. I'm just gonna pop a bit of primer on. This morning, um, I'm going to auto glass the, because I'm having my windscreen on my car replaced because I've got this massive crack. It didn't happen when, the, when I was in the car, um, but yeah, like I, I don't know how it's happened, but I've got this huge crack. Um, and it's, yeah, it needs like properly replacing. So I need to take it into like the center where they, um, need to change it over basically. And they said it's going to take like three hours. So I need to get there early. And then I think they've got like a little waiting room. I'm, I'm just going to take my laptop and hopefully just like work in there while they're doing that. Um, okay. So primer is on and I used the Charlotte Tilbury. This is my favorite primer, the flawless poreless primer with SPF 50 and it just gives your face a nice little glow as well. I just want to do like a no makeup makeup, very sheer lightweight makeup this morning. I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics CC cream and I use this in the shade light. I'm just going to use a really small amount there. Um, so also while I'm chatting to you, la last night I watched a new film that's coming out on Sky Cinema on the 28th of April. Um, I'm part of the Sky Cinema Club, which I absolutely love. And each month I review one of their new films and share all the details with you. So last night I watched A Good Person. It's got Morgan Freeman and Florence Pugh in. I don't really know what genre to categorize this film to. I feel like it was quite dramatic and it was one of those films that it had some really moving parts in, so I actually cried quite a, quite a, like, a few times through it. A quick summary of the film is that Florence Pugh's character, Ali, is this super successful, really talented and gorgeous young lady, um, and it, the opening scene is at her engagement party, and they've got a wonderful relationship and everything is hunky-dory. Um, I'm not spoiling anything here, um, because this is on the trailer, but then Ali, Florence Pugh's character, is in a really tragic car accident, and this tragic accident caused just absolutely everything to change. Ali is obviously going through this awful time after this tragic accident. And Morgan Freeman, I absolutely love Morgan Freeman. His voice is so soothing and he is such a spectacular actor. He plays a character called Daniel, who is Ali's father-in-law to be and they make this very like unusual unexpected um, friendship but they are exploring the complexities of grief addiction sadness um, all together and as the title suggests a good person they're kind of it's from what I took away from it it's kind of like what does a good person do when a bad thing happens to them I cried through the film because I feel like you I felt quite attached to the characters and you really genuinely wanted the best for them. And they are all just going through this like unimaginable pain. I don't know, it gets you. The music throughout the film as well was really beautiful. And I've actually shazammed some of the songs because the songs are really lovely. I'm gonna pop just a very light bit of bronzer on. And something that's really stuck with me and this is what got me thinking. Morgan Freeman's character, Daniel, says a more fatty which is Latin for to love your fate. Obviously you can't choose your fate. We don't know what is gonna happen to us in this world, but a more fatty, I just loved it because it's like choosing to love the fates you're given. Kind of like making the best of a bad situation. I absolutely love that. And I've saved that quote. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Glossier Cloud Paint just to add a bit of color in my cheeks. And this is in the shade Dusk. And I feel like it is a film that we should all watch. I feel like there's lots of takeaways to it. So next weekend, if you are looking for a new film to watch and, and want to watch something quite thought provoking, a good person. It comes out on Sky Cinema on the 28th of April. And as Morgan Freeman says, Amor Fati, you can't choose your fate, but hopefully you can choose a way to love it. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do is just pop a little bit of brow glue in. I'm just gonna brush them up. I'm still loving this got to be brow glue. It's so good. And it was like three or four pounds, I think. And then I just use a little spoolie just to go over it. Before I head off this morning, I bought a few little bits and bobs from Ikea that I quickly want to show you. I forgot to put anything on my lips, so I'm just gonna pop 
some of the beauty pie this is the wonder gloss the lip oil and oh my god this is honestly one of my favorite lip products ever i love it okay let's get on to ikea okay first up this was actually thanks to tiktok um that i got these because i saw a video on them so they're called a uh, cylinder and it's a, like a set of three tall i don't really know what to call them candles or vases i think you can use them for either they are different sizes oh i don't that's a lot bigger than i thought um and then i got these candles that you put in and together the three of them together looked really effective and nice so so here they are all together. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put them yet, but I thought actually they, they do look really nicely together like that, don't they? Next up, I've got this gorgeous woven lampshade. I mean, I'm not exactly sure where this is gonna go. I think I'm gonna put it in the spare bedroom, but I just loved it and it was 15 pounds. So I felt like it was quite a bargain and I just love anything like in this fabric. So I got that. Next up, I got some photo frames because I really like IKEA photo frames actually. They're one of the few places that do the same sizes as Decenio. Um, Decenio frames are really nice, they're quite expensive. Um, whereas IKEA do exactly the same sizes, but the frames are a lot cheaper. I like the Hofster range. So I've got two in, in like a dark wood stain. I've got quite a lot of these around the house. So I just wanted to get a few more to match in. Can you go to Ikea and not get their sandwich bags? I absolutely love these and use them all the time. So I got three different sizes. And also, I got this lovely, um, like, it's actually not wood. I actually think it's plastic that looks like wood, but that's good because wood does rot in wet weather. So if I keep this outside, this will stay nice. And I'm thinking of putting some, like, pretty summer bedding plants in there or something for the garden. Speaking of garden, I also got this watering can. The colour is the cutest. Just imagine pottering around in the garden, watering my plants that are all dead. No, but I know, I know it's not like the biggest and most practical watering can. If my parents were watching this, they would be thinking, like, what the hell is that? You need a much bigger one than that. And I know, but this was just like cute and pretty. And it also comes with a little spout. Is that not the cutest thing? And while I'm here, I thought I would quickly show you two things I got from H&M Home. First one, I started to open this, and then I thought, oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait and do it with you. If I can actually get it out. Is this, oh my God, look at that it's absolutely stunning how gorgeous is that oh my god it's so beautiful that is so satisfying okay and then i know i need to get a box now i can't remember what this is or what, what this is i'm thinking some of the um Gypsophilia would look so cute in there. Oh yay, I'm really happy with those two purchases. All of the names, codes, links, and everything that I've just shown you will be in the caption. But now it is eight o'clock. I need to dash. I need to get to Autoglass. It is Tuesday morning. I am just in the middle of getting ready because I'm heading into London today, which I am so excited about because I normally go into London like once a week, but I haven't been into London for like three to four weeks. I spent a lot of time on my own, which I'm really like happy with. I love spending time on my own, but I spend like nearly every day at home on my own. And sometimes like I just get a bit cabin thievery or um, I just, sometimes you just need to change the scenery. And I do find going into London, having meetings going to events it, it does like spark inspiration and it makes me i don't know it just gives me a little pump anyway i need the little pump so i'm getting my london pump today hi birdie before i carry on getting ready i need to tell you what i did yesterday so i have spoken about this before but you might have missed it um i do suffer with like random eczema flare-ups and like random skin allergies and just random skin things that just like pop out of nowhere and I'm like 
what are you doing like what has happened um i get quite a lot on my neck i mean this is quite good this has gone down but you can kind of see the redness here and it's really like raised and like bumpy but that is good that has actually gone down i booked in to see a dermatologist at the end of last year and i saw her in the new year and she booked me in for some patch tests which i've had done this week so how it works is yesterday on the monday i go to have them put on and I'm gonna put, I got Tom to do a video of my back this morning. So I had these put on yesterday and the tape, like the sticky tape is a bit crinkled because I've slept on it. So they were all put on yesterday on Monday and then I leave them on until Wednesday afternoon. I'm going back to see her on Wednesday where she takes them off. And then I see the consultant on Friday for her to see which ones have reacted and on each of the like white tape squares it's like a little silver dish and then they put the um chemical or like what's the word like the thing that they're testing on the dish so they can see if it reacts on the skin but i can't get these wet so i've had to just have like a body wash this morning and even when they're taken off on wednesday i can't wash my back until after i've seen the consultant because apparently it's still like on the skin and they need to see it like develop and also i think when i go on wednesday they mark up on my back what has been where i'm not 100 percent sure but basically i can't wash my back all week it feels really weird i was thinking of how can i explain this like the feeling and you know when you put like a face mask on and it dries and it goes really tight and like itchy and you just want to like crack it that's what it feels like on my back it's really tight i feel like i can't even just like moving my arms up and down it feels like it's pulling the tape and it's really quite itchy right anyway so let's finish off getting ready do you ever do this right i've been doing my makeup and as i said i'm going into london and i'm staying over i'll tell you more about that um in the vlog um but i was packing my makeup like as i was putting it on so that i wouldn't forget anything um but when i like did all my makeup and then i forgot to put on my the rodeo banana low lighter and i just feel like I don't know, I notice a difference. I'm gonna just refresh my hair. Because it doesn't really like need loads doing to it, but I'm just gonna actually show you how I refresh it when it's just looking like a little bit meh. Okay, um, first thing I'm gonna do is just sort my fringe out. It naturally just goes into this like, is that called a cow, cow slick? Is that what it's called? Um, so I like to get rid of this. I find the best way is with a hair dryer. The brush I've been using lately is from Hershison's. It's so lightweight because the other round brush that I was using was amazing, but it's really heavy. Very good, I'm really enjoying using it. Obviously I'm not drying the hair. This is more just for like reshaping it. So I don't need to go over it too many times. I just need to get that bit at the root. And then I'm just going to pop this roller in just for a little bit while I'm getting ready. And as that hair is cooling down, it will just keep that in shape a little bit more. To match the brush, I've got the little matching Hershison's clips. Okay, I'm going to take that out just while I was doing that. I do find the longer those fringy bits are, like the less volume and the less hold it gets. When I was younger, I had one of those massive swoopy fringes that was like this. Did anyone else have that? Anyway, I'm going to use this favourite dry shampoo ever, the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. It's so good. Um, I just blast it all over. And then just shake it all out. I just realised the time and I need to hurry up. And I've gone for a smart casual outfit today. I'll leave all the outfit details in the caption. Always lots of gold jewelry. And then I'm trying a new perfume. I had a little sample box. And this is the Delina from Perfumes de Mali. It's so nice. Having a little cuddle with Bertie. I'm staying overnight, so just packing last few bits, popping my shoes on. I'm going with Converse because I've got quite a lot of walking to do today. I'm nearly ready to leave. I just need to grab a few more bits. And I last minute washed some things last night to take today and i've put them out on the line in the sun i don't think they're fully dry but i have to hang them up when i get there I know this is the most random thing, but while I'm out here, I wanted to show you these little clips that I got from Amazon that you put on the line because I do like to dry things on the hanger 
and if you just put it on there if it's windy this blows off so quickly and easily it happens all the time but these you just clip onto the line hook that through can't do it with one hand hook that through the hole and honestly it just it stays put if you like washing drying your washing outside you need these i'll leave them linked below i am ready to go and i am traveling so light I've only packed one outfit for tonight and I'm actually, like tomorrow, all we're doing is having breakfast and coming home. So I'm actually just going to wear what I'm wearing today, but I put a clean vest in. Um, because yeah, I just, I hate lugging so much stuff around London. And now it's time to say bye to you. Whenever I leave, Bertie always comes to the door and he's like, am I not coming, mum? Bye, Bertie. <laughs> We are in Knack and we have got a whole feast, haven't we? We do. What have we got? Halloumi fries, roasted cauliflower, normal fries, sweet potato, broccoli. This is like a honey miso glazed aubergine and some little chicken bites over there. When I left you earlier, I don't think I explained at all what I was actually doing today. And I was coming into London um, for an event this evening with Elizabeth Arden for the launch of their new capsules, which I'll show you more later. Um, but as I was coming into London, um, I had a lunch meeting earlier as well um, with Kat from a fragrance beauty agency. So we went to Knack, um, as you would have seen, and the food in there is just so good. All of their little small plates are so delicious so we just got loads of bits to share and it was really nice and now I am over in Shoreditch and I've just checked into it's called 100 Shoreditch and we just had one of their um, express facials with the new ceramide capsules which so I've actually got no makeup on they left my um, brows and mascara on but I feel like my skin looks so healthy after using those products I thought before I mess up the room I thought I'd do a little room tour okay so you come in here and round here is a really nice bathroom such a gorgeous bathroom and whenever i come to hotels with these nice big open showers i always just want to wash my hair i know it's such a weird thing and look how cool those dispensers are but obviously i can't get my back wet which is so annoying so i can't actually wash my hair and it is looking a bit greasy so we're gonna have to go to town on the dry shampoo later. Put these decals on the mirrors, which is really cool. And so kindly left some products to use. Luckily there is an iron here because you know I washed my blazer for tonight that really needs ironing and it's still damp. So actually I need to hang that up and unpack in a second. I just love how like the simplicity and I've got two beds. Which one am I gonna sleep on? Like, if you were in here, which one would you automatically go for the left or right? I feel that I'm going to go... For, I don't know. The choices, eh? Anyway, what else? Oh my god, I love... I didn't see that earlier. That's a very cool big vase. That is massive, just for reference. Like, that's my hand. That is huge. Oh my god, I haven't had a Snickers for such a long time. Should I treat myself to a Snickers? And then, as I said, we're in Shoreditch. Um, so, this is Shoreditch High Street. Do you know what? I love people watching in London. Because, like, I feel like people don't see you up here. So you can just really have a good old nose. I bet this road is an interesting watch on a Saturday night. I'm just getting ready for the dinner. I'm actually sat on this little stool down here. Um, I've ironed my clothes. Um, but how? is it to iron a blazer what the hell like normally i steam them at home um but trying to iron a blazer on an ironing board there's so many bits to a blazer every time like i ironed one bit the next bit was creased that wasn't wasn't too successful but i feel like i've done like the bulk of it and that'll be okay uh oh shit sorry i didn't actually swear on here i've just put highlighter on without any blusher I'm just going to all mix into one I'm really annoyed at myself because I forgot my little light that I use to film videos. So yeah, I'm relying on room light and it's not the best light to like show makeup off. Um, so sorry about that. I do need to bring you in a bit closer though. So these are the new capsules from Elizabeth Arden. Uh, they're the ceramide capsules and these are the advanced lights. So if you've ever tried the advanced, 
Um, these are like a lighter version um, that just feel more of a lightweight texture on your skin. But to, because they are gold, the theme for tonight is a touch of gold. So I'm just doing my makeup and then I'm going to use, um, I'm gonna do like a goldy eye. So for my gold eye, I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Golden Amber. Um, I absolutely love these sticks. They just, like, I'm not very good at like eyeshadow application. And I feel like you can just be quite, what's the word? Messy with your application. Kind of just put it on in the areas you want it. Then take a brush and just blend. I'm so annoyed at myself about the light because I feel like you just can't see, you just can't see things properly. I think I found a bit of better lighting because I want to show you my makeup. And I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury, these beauty light ones that I'm just obsessed with. If you just want glow on your skin, this is what you need. And then I find just like tapping it with my fingers is the best way. That's makeup done. The robes in this hotel are like not usual hotel robes, but they are so soft and like just comfy and snuggly and they smell really nice as well. Okay, a little favorite lip combo is the Bare Minerals. This is shade Grace. It's like a peachy pink, really nice for spring. And then I'm just gonna go over the top. This is in the shade Mist. Right, let's get dressed. So this has been my go-to favorite outfit for going out, a satin midi skirt with a blazer and then a belt over the top. It is gold themed, so I'm going with these amazing gold block sandals. I'm gonna pop my jewelry on. And I've only got small hoops in, so I think I'm gonna go with more of a statement necklace. And I've got this gorgeous gold necklace from Monica Vinader. My hair needs some dry shampoo. The Living Proof is my favorite one. And then I'm gonna use my little mini gold coach bag. This is like the cutest little bag I own. And here is my touch of gold outfit. <laughs> I used this for the first time yesterday, the Elizabeth Arden, it's the Ceramide Oil Cleanser. Super nourishing, take that off. So I had a really nice dinner with Elizabeth Arden last night um, and the team and lots of other lovely content creators. It was such a nice group. It was so nice to have lots of really nice conversations, see people I haven't seen for years and meet new people as well. I always feel quite puffy when I wake up in a hotel. I don't know why. I only had about two sips of wine as well. So it's definitely not, not alcohol. I found this really interesting and I hope that this helps you to understand this product a little bit more. But basically, ceramides are in our skin and they are the fatty acids in our skin that keep our skin plump and healthy and strong. But as we age, they deplete, leaving our skin like saggy and dull and dehydrated. And what the ceramides kind of look like in your skin is if you imagine like a brick wall as your skin and you've got the bricks in there, the ceramide is the cement or mortar that's in between the bricks. As we age, that kind of depletes, leaving everything just like falling down. And these little capsules help to build up those ceramides. They help to restore, strengthen the skin barrier. And this particular range of capsules as well, they help to refine and kind of really work on the texture of your skin. 
I absolutely love the Elizabeth Arden capsules. My favorite ones have always been the hyaluronic acid ones. But I feel like these are gonna move to the top of my favorites. They come in these little biodegradable capsules. These are made from um, vegetable and plant extracts. So they just disintegrate in water. There's absolutely no plastic there. These are pure because they are encapsulated. There's no air or sunlight getting to them. So you're getting very pure form. Again, with the potency as well, a very strong form because it hasn't been affected by anything else. It's just sealed in here and precise. This is exactly the right amount you need, meaning no waste, which is amazing. And also I love to take these um, on holiday and I'm just gonna seal that all in with the ceramide cream. Oh my God, my hands. <laughs> My hands are really slippy from the like, serum. Okay, so skincare done. I'm gonna have some breakfast and then I'm gonna head home. Still in my pajamas because I was gonna eat my breakfast in pajamas and then put my clothes on because I'm not doing, I've done my skincare, but I'm just gonna put my hair up and chuck my clothes on and go because I'm literally just going home. So I'm not gonna like get ready. I've had a little body wash. Obviously I still can't get my back wet. The patches are coming off this afternoon. My appointment is at 2.30, so I literally can't wait. I can imagine it's gonna feel so satisfying, her peeling them off. All oh, my breakfast is here. Breakfast has arrived. I went for poached eggs with avocado, a latte, orange juice, and then under here is my pastries. Time to check out. I'm gonna walk back to Old Street Station and then get the train home. I am just making some lunch. You know when you just got those things on your to-do list that you keep putting off? I've actually had quite a good session of getting them ticked off. The state of me is not the one today. My eye, can you see it's gone really red? A little tuna pits on the go here, then I'm going to the hospital because they're taking the patches off, which I am so happy about because they're so itchy. <laughs> I've wanted to put my head over the bath to wash my hair, but I feel like with these, like, I can't stretch my arms out properly. So at least when they're off, I can like have a good hair wash over, over the bath. So I have just parked up and I've come out on my fleece. Um, I've actually parked at Asda. Let me just shut the summary. This is the easiest parking to where I'm going. Right, I just need to run into Asda before my appointment to grab some bits for dinner. I never shop at Asda. Just because where it is, it's in like, an awkward location but quite like going into a different supermarket it's quite exciting to see what other things they've got and that's the height of the excitement in my life um but also yesterday when i was in the hotel i had a snickers bar chocolate bar from the mini bar and oh my god like it was so good i haven't had a snickers for years and it was so good and now i've just got the taste for snickers so i'm gonna buy myself another snickers Hello everyone. I'm just getting ready to go to a Pilates class. Um, I don't know if I've spoken about this on here. I have on my stories. Um, but basically, for a really long time, I've just wanted to get back into exercising, like for my mind and body. So for a really long time, I've wanted to get back into exercising. The problem I found with exercising is that I've never found something I love. Um, yeah, like I feel like I, I have to go to it like it's such a chore and I've wanted to try reformer Pilates for a long time and there's a studio quite near me and I've been following the girl for ages and I just haven't booked in. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago I took the plunge and I booked in and now I've been a few times and honestly I really enjoy it, like I really look forward to it. I had my patch tests taken off yesterday and she took them off and then she had to, she basically used like a purple marker to draw all around them so that when the dermatologist sees them on Friday, because basically it was like a dermatologist nurse put them on and took them off and then I'll see like a specialist dermatologist on Friday. Um, she kind of drew around them so then the next lady can see where, where they were and she put some tape on there to kind of number which, what was what. When I woke up this morning, the purple pen was all over my bed and my back, and basically like it's all rubbed off of my back. I'm excited to be able to wash my back soon. <laughs> this is a Gymshark set. 
that I've got and the reason why I really like this set is because I've got the matching long sleeve top and I'm not brave enough to do exercise like <laughs> like this so I really like wearing these long sleeve tops and they're quite thin as well so I feel like you don't get like sweaty and then they're quite breathable but I just like putting that over it's been so nice and sunny today and it's just come over so gray and dark and as if it's gonna tip it down um but sorry I didn't actually say earlier what they said about my back so she actually said that not too many came up straight away which was a good sign but obviously they do have to like allow more time for the reaction to come up really interesting to get the results tomorrow and yeah i just like i don't know what to expect kind of thing and also i've put a story on my instagram about it and some people were like confused at what exactly it was and it's for contact allergies so more skin things like things you would put on your skin or things your skin would come into contact with not so much things you would eat i'm going to end this vlog here because i feel like this vlog is going to be quite jam-packed um and i need to get this vlog edited and uploaded in in the youtube schedule and then sorry that this has fallen i mean i'm not leaving you on much of a cliffhanger it's not that exciting finding out what my allergies are but in next week's vlog i will um i'll update you with tomorrow's appointment from the dermatologist so if you made it this far through the vlog then thank you so much it honestly just blows my mind that people will actually like watch these videos yeah so honestly just thank you so much i hope you're having a really lovely week thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you next week bye